Uh, my name is Ryan, and this afternoon I'll be explaining my code for my Scratch game. And so, when you first press the green flag, it will show that uh, the main uh, protagonist of the game, and you press G to start actually playing. And here, it, he uh, will talk for a little bit, and then it will switch um, to a different backdrop, and the timer is constantly being reset down here. And then also, when you press 1 later on, it, you can actually control the main character by using WASD. And using space, you can clone the enemy. And the whole entire premise of the game is to run a, uh, away from the enemy, which is a spider, and survive for 60 seconds. And I programmed this down here, where the timer is greater than 60 seconds, then you win the game. And you press 1, then you switch costumes. And also... If uh, the enemy, which is this one here, if he touches the uh, protagonist, then it will broadcast a message, which here it makes him lose the game. So it says game over, and you have to press the green flag to restart the game. And if you go through the, the full uh, 60 seconds without dying, then you can get to the screen. Okay, so go ahead and play it and see what see what happens. And how do you control it? What are the keys? The keys you're controlling once you get to the arena is W A S D and also the spacebar. Okay. I also program the certain location that he spawns when he uh, changes the backdrop. Okay, so the enemy is going to move at one point, right? Yeah. Once the the it goes to the controls, it, the enemy starts to move, and then if you press space, for example, it clones the enemy, so it makes it a lot harder. Right. And the enemies move in different random directions, so you have to try to predict where they're gonna go and uh, try to avoid that area. Okay. Good. How many times can you clone it? Uh, pretty much infinite times until like it covers the screen. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Like for, and also, the number of uh, the clones grows exponentially. For example, I had one one of them, and then I cloned it to two. And if you do it again, it clones to four. Right. And then eight. Yeah, and so on. So it's an exponential growth. Yeah. Two to the end, right? <laughs> well, what does the timer say? It, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's game over. <laughs> The time, okay. the timer when it gets to sixty is when you win the game. Okay, so what was the most difficult part of this game, the programming? Uh, the most difficult part, I would say, was trying to get uh, the timer to kind of work right, and also the um, clones to move. Okay. Also, because at first I didn't really understand how to use different control uh, blocks. Right. So then after some trial and error, and uh, like seeing seeing through other people how it works, mm -hmm. how they would get it to work. Okay, great. Okay, round of applause, guys. Very good.